Hello, everybody, and welcome back. This is your first tropical update of the Atlantic hurricane season, which began today. And also today, we got our first investigative system known as INVEST uh, here, INVEST 91L. I guess it's really the second INVEST of the season. Um, well, the first one of the season, the second one in 2022. So we're watching that continuing over the Yucatan now uh, it, over more precisely the northwestern caribbean sea we also have an area of interest to watch northwest of the bahamas between the bahamas and bermuda we'll talk about that at the end of the episode so let's begin here's a closer look at 91l 91l located north of Honduras to the east of the yucatan peninsula and belize we see a good amount of convection we see it decreased a little bit earlier this afternoon but recently we have another plume of convection forming which means good we have consistent convection associated with it still no strong uh, circulation low pressure but we do have uh, clouds moving different directions which means that at least we have some sort of rotation associated with it nothing too crazy yet though tropical alerts remain in effect for the northern yucatan western cuba south florida and the northern bahamas those are the areas that need to stay tuned to the progress of 91L as we could potentially see tropical storm watches for areas in those regions, especially South Florida and the Florida Keys as we head into the weekend. Uh, also, Western Cuba, I wouldn't be surprised if they got a tropical storm watch with how quickly the development of this storm is occurring. The good news is this thing isn't supposed to be a, a, a crazy big storm. I mean, worst case is a high-end tropical storm and it's probably going to be a weak tropical storm by the time it reaches florida and again like i said yesterday even still before it reaches florida the odds of it forming aren't huge after it passes florida uh, the the conditions become much more favorable for development of the system uh, nonetheless it'll remain relatively weak the main threat with this is rain wind is not a big concern with this at all rain is the big concern uh, and of course we'll have updates on all of those impacts associated with 91l as the system becomes more organized and potentially gets a number or a name to it over the next few days national hurricane center now at a 70 percent chance formation within the next 48 hours and an 80 percent chance formation within the next five days and so uh, that means we have a high chance of formation as the system continues to progress and um, of course impacts to the united states are possible so stay tuned with this one moving on to the other system the new one being tracked by the hurricane center this one has been showing up as as what i would call a blip on the models recently and so every once in a while it'll have a really brief weak system form out of this uh thing and uh, apparently it's gotten to the point where the national hurricane center wants to say something about it we see a decent amount of rotation associated with it but it certainly doesn't go all the way around the storm and therefore is not named also convection is nowhere near as organized as it would need to be uh for this storm but nonetheless there is a heavy presence of uh clouds and precipitation and convection with the system and so We'll continue to look at this over the next few days. National Hurricane Center only putting it at a 10% chance of formation. So it's really not a huge deal, I don't think. Uh, the wind speed and pressure shouldn't be on here. But those are probably about right, honestly, uh, for, for this system. And so, again, nothing crazy is expected. The pressure on this, the National Hurricane Center noted, is high. Um, even though, of course, to be a a tropical cyclone it needs to be a lower pressure um, and so it has a lot of development to do as it uh if it were to develop nonetheless interest in bermuda need to take note of this if it does develop uh, but at this point really not a huge concern at all moving finally to our conclusion slide again we see our two areas of convection we see a decent amount of convection over the tropical atlantic between africa and the lesser antilles Again, our area of interest north of the Greater Antilles and the Bahamas. Uh, and then, of course, Invest 91L located over the Caribbean heading towards Cuba, which can really only 
see on this map if you're looking for it. Uh, in the United States right now, too, we have a decent amount of convection, slight risk in effect for basically a line, I believe, from New York all the way down into Texas. Severe storms possible tonight across all of those areas, so stay tuned uh, to your local weather outlets if, um, if there is any concerning weather heading your way and you're within any of those regions. That's all for now. Chris Dixon for their Catholic Pedia.